Hi, hi. What's up, good people? Welcome back to another video. Yes, today I just want to have a chat chat, just a very short talk with you guys. Today it's on 4th June and it's my birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday and I am so excited. I am Yes, I am so excited. It's my birthday. Yes, if you're new to this channel, my name is Sarah and I am a first time mom and I work from home, guys. And what I have never told you, I am also a student. And today I want us to have a chit chat on working moms who also go to classes and also have a big family and a husband. Guys, it is not simple. Yes, it is not simple. For instance, as of me, as of now, I have cuts on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I have video to post. I have a family. I have a baby, six months old baby. Imagine, it is not easy. How, if you have a um, kid, or if you're staying in school, married with a child, how do you manage, guys? How do you manage? I am staying young, and I feel like I am. 30 i'm a 35 i feel like i have so many things to do it's not like when i didn't have kids it was just school home yes right now i have other responsibilities and young girls if you're planning to get married just graduate first just graduate first because this space it's not for the week i'm for the weekend if you're not just if you're just lazy you cannot do it it is just so much you have notes you have to go for group discussion you have to cook for the baby you have to pump imagine all that work on you by your sense <laughs> i just started this video with <laughs> it's like making noise but at the same time i just know what i want i just know it for a short time for instance i would be graduating in november december i'm not sure but i'll be graduating then so i have to work hard right now i just have a few months and i'll be done yeah also if you are young and you have hired a house manager big up big up and for it i tried to hire a day work the one who comes and goes and the disappointments hey 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 what do I tell you guys? The disappointment was was so big. I'm aware. I hired the first one. He was she was giving me funny stories. She's a comedian, Mara, she's a YouTube, Mara, she's what? And it could not one thing was not adding to another. Then he told me they brought someone. Later she came and told me it was her son. One day she won't the job, the next day she does not want it was just a mixture of so many things it just let her go i told her i ignored her and then let her go and then i hired another one not mind you these are maybe older women than me because it's not easy to find a young girl i'm a, a person of my age who want the cleaning jobs it's not easy and also most of my age mates and maybe in college universities and schools and are hustling elsewhere but there are those who are elder than me who do these jobs i'm not i don't mean they are bad jobs they are good jobs and right now i have a very good woman who comes and wash and goes but she's available just one time a week because she is booked throughout the week and she does a very good job but just finding a good person it's not easy a day bug and right now i am thinking about hiring a, a house manager who will be staying at me i'm a who will be staying with me and this time round i have hired around 40 28 i have hired this old people than me and this time i want a young person yes maybe 21 22 yes that will work for me this time round and guys if you have a house manager 
what are the do's and the don'ts please put them on, down on the comment section what should i do how should i hand on her yes i have a friend who told me this take her neck family and that is good yes i am sure i will take her neck my family but what else guys how do i because mind you i want to be i will be going to school and he will be take she will be taking care of my child so as for me as i'm hiring i just look for a person to take care of the baby the other jobs maybe cleaning cooking i do the cooking but the other jobs she can for when i'm when i'm away she can ignore them and wait for me we can do them together yes also guys it's on my birthday and i do not have plans guys <sighs> this one is so sick of me <laughs> last year i was pregnant and there was covid so you were pregnant and this covid i just wanted to keep myself at peace i didn't want to go out i didn't want to party but this year i feel like i want to party so hard but at the same time i am so held up this what comes along with motherhood i just want to party but there is the baby there is school there is just so much going around that i cannot manage all of it so guys i don't know what i'll be doing maybe i'll just be going out I don't know what my hubby plans for me i am not sure i don't know even whether he have plans but he is very poor at that he is very poor at that yes but i'll figure out i don't even have a cake guys who does that it's my 25th birthday and i don't have a cake that is a crime i should have a cake right anyway i am so grateful for god at this point of my age you know there are those things when you're young you just wish to have achieved by 25 i wanted to have a baby at 25 i had a baby at 24 i wanted to get married at 23 i got married at 24 what else i wanted to have graduated by 23 i'm graduating at 25 i don't complain all this we just plan and we just pray to god to make them to pass and god's plan are the best so right now yeah i just woke up and i just said oh let me just do a video a chit chat on with stay at home moms working moms and all my friends just true if you're single and you're out there just know it is not easy to be married with a kid to be going to school and all those stuff when you're single and i just watch some people online and i see my friends in their lives for instance i watch v someone b brian booker and her girlfriend and i see myself in them when I used to date, when we were dating, I see whatever they do, they, one day they are in this place, the other day they are in, I don't know whether you know them, go check out Brian Booker and Melanie V. Go check them. I watch people like, there's another chick I watch, she's called Laura. I see her, myself in her when I used to live alone and the things and the plans I would make and I'm not sure whether you watch this but in case you're watching you're doing great and you inspire me so much so yes those are the people who I see myself in them and I am just grateful and you're on the right path don't say it's bad i just i just i can just relate you know when you can see someone you don't know them and you can relate to them like a hundred percent sure you just feel some this just a feeling that you feel but yes ah uh, guys and that is all i don't know whether there's something else that i want to share with you today being my birthday wish me happy birthday down on the comment section it is my birthday and if i come up with plans i am going to frog yes guys i am i am planning to make my first frog today 
yes i am going to to blog it and guys subscribe if you have not subscribed it is the most the perfect gift that you can give to me today is just subscribing let's get to 1000 guys let's get to 1000 subscribers yes uh as a mom also before i go as a mom there are those people who just are there for you stand with you i am so grateful some you don't know even how to repay them some are women some are your family you just don't know how to repay them but just pray to god and just one day you're gonna be there for them stand with them and just pray to god for for good things in future guys yes if you've supported me up to this point yes i am so grateful the retro things that people have shown me all people have shown me love during my when i was pregnant from the day i got pregnant from the people i told that i'm pregnant from when i gave birth my cousins my sister people used to come here everybody who came who called yes i am just so grateful i also thank god that i didn't get into depression i was very aware of it okay i not like i can't say like i was very aware of it but there's my cousin who had given birth before me and she had experienced it and she was aware of it and she used to tell me no you should be aware of depression and she did a very good job to educate me guys also guys if you're having a baby shower i mean, if you're planning to have a baby shower i know this is not male things but guys if you're planning a baby shower for a young girl i'm a, a first time mom like me it is always good to bring the hubby yes okay it is not all that but just make sure he is there my hubby didn't know about depression didn't okay he knew this postpartum depression but he didn't have the detail but during my baby shower he was there and two three people talked about it in a deeper way and he got to understand he understood what it is how it comes how to handle it and what can prevent and i am so grateful that after that he went on to research yes so if you're planning a baby shower for someone i may be just planning for yourself i mean if you are a male watching it is good to go for the baby shower just get educated on one or two things and i'm so grateful for that because he was there for me and he was very cautious of it and we were boys and those people around me were very cautious about the depression because it is not something you wish you can just wake up today and think i want to get into depression no 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 you just think it is unknowingly okay i know you can get into it up to one year but up up at up to this point something funny but it is not funny i am very busy and i can't have time even to think things yes i am very busy that i don't have time to start thinking or yes but i'm just grateful to god and people around me my hubby my cousins my sister my bros yes just everybody around me yeah that is all for today guys just wanted to have a small chit chat with you so that we can catch up you know the space that i am in life and such things as you can see i am in my bedroom yes i yes i don't have okay i'm not planning to showcase my bedroom but maybe in future i will because it is not the best i watch people on youtube when i'm like hmm, can you give me your bedroom for a night <laughs> yes but hey i watch people and also there's another channel if you if you know maggie is it maggie when maggie when they or someone someone called maggie oh that chick is very clean i was just going to visit her one day hmm? i get raining motivation from her but she's very clean i watch her with my hubby and people around me and being like whoa this chick she's gold i want to be like her 
how old are you mag am i old enough to be make you a mad i don't know i think she is very young but she is very clean neat organized and stuff anyway this doesn't mean i am not clean and organized yet but has it's on another level guys Anyway guys that is all guys do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button also guys wish me a happy birthday down on the comment section wish me a happy birthday